What's going on guys, Shane here. Today we're gonna go over five common mistakes on the heavy bag that a lot of beginners make that could lead to injury or just not getting the maximum benefit of your workout. So the first one is not wrapping your hands. I see this all too often where people strike the heavy bag bare fisted or they don't wear hand wraps, they just wear gloves. And then they ask me questions on why their hands are calloused, why their knuckles are cracked and bleeding or why their wrist hurts. Make sure you wrap your hands, make sure you wear gloves when you're hitting the heavy bag. If you're looking for knuckle conditioning, we have a video on that. Next one is focusing just on power punches. And what people tend to do is get really close to the bag, lock their arms out in a hooking motion, and then just go for uppercuts and hooks, where it just looks like this. Okay, not realistic to a fight. If that's what you're training for, for competition, then get full extension in your punches. Also, you're gonna develop more muscles. That's mostly just hips and shoulders, but now I'm working, you know, my full arm, I'm working on my footwork, I'm working my core, jabs, crosses. Sometimes I don't even hit the bag. Sometimes I'll go out here, really work on my footwork, then I'll step in and land punches on the bag. The third mistake is people going all out too early. A lot of times they put on the gloves, they're very excited, they walk up to it, and again, 30 seconds later, they're huffing and puffing, they're like, oh, that was tough, that was harder than I thought, and then they're done and they never do it again. Instead, what I want you to do is set a timer. Go for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, but pace yourself, right? Walk around the bag, sometimes you just keep your hands up and you're just pumping a jab, right? Nice and easy. And then maybe the last 30 seconds or midway in between the round, then you can throw that hard flurry. But either way, pace yourself, make it realistic. The fourth one is when you're throwing your strikes, throwing it with bad form. This starts to happen towards the end of the round or later rounds. Hitting with the incorrect part of your hand, forgetting to keep your wrist straight and tweaking your wrist either direction. Same thing with kicks and knees. When you throw your knees, you wanna make sure that your heel is all the way to your butt, solidifying the kneecap. You wanna make sure you're striking with your shin on the heavy bag, especially if it's a firm one and not the top of your foot. You could tweak your ankle, you could hurt your foot itself. So no matter what strike you're throwing, make sure you keep proper form at all times. And the last one on the heavy bag is don't just get concerned with throwing punches. Mix it up. A lot of times, like I said, it's just people are just going one, two, left, right, left, right, nonstop. That'll get the heart rate up, get you sweating. But think about it, like I said before, much more full body. If I can move around the bag, I can work my jabs, I can work my kicks, I can work my defense as well. Imagine punches coming in at you. I'm blocking, I'm countering, or I'm slipping and countering. Maybe I'm moving out of range and stepping back into range. Again, keep it realistic. Imagine like it's your opponent. Move around, full 360 degrees, create angles, slip punches, defend, and then counter. Hopefully this answers your questions. If you have any other ones, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Until next time, be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane with Fight Tips. Self-defense for the underdogs.